me off mid sentence. I mean, they're not cutting Brad Pitt off mid sentence whenever he's on set. What is up, y'all? Hope y'all having a great day out here at the Legends for part two of King of the T. If you watched the last video, Andrew does have a one up lead on me, two up on Matt. I was even par, Matt's one over. Andrew, with his one shot that he gets from both of us per hole, he is one under. You got a with little that. sprinkle too so going. We do. A little rain. I love it. For today's video, it's going to be a one club only. We're going to be playing three holes. What is the one club we're going with today? We're going with the seven. If I would have known that, I probably would have built myself a little bit bigger lead. I probably would have gone birdie, birdie, birdie on that first challenge. Hopefully I can just hang in there, tough it out like I usually do. If anybody was going to be a pull a tin cup, it is the driving range golf coach. This is my moment. <laughs> I love it. So yes, yeah, going to be going with the seven iron only for today's challenge. Par four, number 13. Straight away, 420 yards. Hit well. Hold on. A little right. Oh boy. It did Yikes. make the fairway. No, oh, it did. Oh, nice. Tried to hood that one down and get as much distance out of it as possible. He did not shy away from that swing. The old walk through. Oh, come join me. I'm in the fairway. Kinda. I'm in the fairway. Oh, y'all were hooding though, whatever that means. <laughs> hey coach, I hate to like point this out, but we're walking up to my ball. Sure does look like the fairway. That's the other fairway. <laughs> uh, fairway's a fairway in my book, so we'll take it one for one so far on the <laughs> seven iron only challenge. Could someone fill me in on how to hood an iron? Whatever that means, it sounds like you can hit it further that way. We're a long ways out. We're you could say that. well over 200 out. Maybe a little stinger seven. He sure did hit that well. That is fading right. I think we could be okay. That was hit really oh, well. Baby, give it to him. That was a long seven iron. Over here. I've got 225 yards left to the pin. It is going to take everything I've got in this seven iron. Looks good, but it looks like he's going to have to join a weight room. Do what? I'm in a gym, not a weight room. Good shot. I have no idea the grounding rules. <laughs> I may have just grounded my club like five times, so. Oh. Hold it. <laughs> that was. If that would have been 150 to the hole, that would have been perfect. A little long. It was a very good thing I played well on that last challenge. We haven't quite gone over that in our uh, tutorial lessons with good old Matt over there. We'll see. You are in very good shape, sir. And my ball is right over there. Oh, that, oh, that took a very soft bounce on him. Pin slam a birdie here on one. Well, as you can see, uh, old Zach is to put the intimidation factor on by hitting it to like the length of the grip. So we're gonna see if I can snuggle one closer. I'm gonna go ahead and tap this in here for my four. That is a four for me here on one. Not too bad, a few feet left for his five. 
Hurry up and film me. I'm over here in snake infested waters. I don't do snakes. Nothing like going from hazard to hazard. That is no joke. Well, what's weird is I was looking around and noticed there are zero other golf balls to be found up here. <laughs> Not many people put it out here. Well, oh, right. he is out. He is out. Got to chip this one in for my par. Keep my streak alive. I did get some dirt in my eyes, my contacts. That is not good. The excuses are already coming. I, I can't hope that I can't see. Good grief. Hold it. Needs to settle. Needs to settle. I'm going to get on this green eventually. Hopefully before it gets dark. Oh, too many grooves. Too many. I tried to belly the wedge. Too many grooves. Oh, that's a smooth double. That really was a pretty good putt. Wish I could have had a few more of those this this hole. Oh, oh, oh! <laughs> oh. That'll get you a little tingly. So a lot happened right there. I did end up with the par. I am even par for the King of the T series. That moves Andrew to two over par. That was a triple bogey. Well, it was an eight, but with one stroke, triple bogey. Matt got the double there. The tides have turned quickly. Great Wall of China wasn't built overnight. Wasn't built in one day. Neither has my, my golf game. It just takes time. Things take time. Cut me off mid-sentence. I mean, they're not cutting Brad Pitt off mid-sentence whenever he's on set. Good grief. Number 14, par five, 547 yards. We did move up one tee box. There's a lengthy par five. What an incredible sunset straight away. Oh, baby. Oh, thin to win right down central. I'm trying to get a couple extra yards to roll out. I'm gonna try to sting this seven iron. Cut. Andrew went with the stinger as well, and his worked out better than mine. Stingers on my that stinger right there didn't quite paint out for me. I had to top that one. Tried to <laughs> blade it on up there, didn't work out, but right down central. And I just made it to the fairway. <laughs> that is awesome. Thank you, sir. Nice fairway. I appreciate it. <laughs> oh. Low left. Little left, a little short. Very nice. Not bad contact, fading a little right. At least I hit it all right. Still can't see the green from here. Let it fly. Hey baby. Good one. Perfect power five strategy. Seven iron, seven iron, seven iron. 200 yards left, our first glimpse of the green. <laughs> that was hit really well. Oh, Needs to fade. Pass. Come on, go hit the car pass. All right. All right, we're good. Oh, oh that could be really good. Sit. Sit. Oh, really Where is it? In the bushes. Got 85 yards left. Need to get this up and down for par. <laughs> All right, we're a little long. I did hit that one solid. All right, sir. You are not in bad shape right here. No, nah, just a whale between me and the yes, hole at the moment. That is quite the humpty hump right yeah. there. That 
was firm. Just rolled off the back. Not a great spot, but you know what? I think we found my Achilles heel. It's only using one club. You know what? Whenever I see adversity, I just, just come through. So hopefully hold this one out. There's his ball. That's what he's faced with. He's got a little pathway right there. Oh, I got a very good bounce out of the mulch. Dude, that is really good from right there. They don't teach that just anywhere. School of Matt. Beautiful. Oh, that would have been a huge par. Nice speed. Well, thank you, sir. Well done. Well done. Very nice. I'm going to tap this in for my bogey. Nice. That is a six here on two. As a good coach, I'm going to show him the line. Appreciate it. I'm here for you, buddy. That is a good roll. Nice. Oh, pull that. You hate to see it. Wow. Wow. Yeah. What was that? <laughs> a lot. A whole lot. I think I got, I think I was an eight, minus one, a seven, double bogey. I don't know what it is about this one club only. All right, so for this three holes, we wanted to play a par four, par five, and par three. So we're skipping hole 15, which is a par four. I know it's getting dark. This isn't for the faint of heart. <laughs> you gotta be an athlete. You gotta be able to walk, be able to talk. This isn't the dream comeback I had. What yeah. we're gonna do is just go ahead and throw out the scoreboard. Why we're are we doing that? We're just gonna throw out the scoreboard. Because it doesn't even matter. It doesn't even matter because honestly, what the people came for is the nail biter between Matt and I, your <laughs> score, what, it, one over, whatever. It's all right. You know what? The, the fans came for Matt and I to see yeah. who is going to become victorious after the second challenge. I like my chances. I really struggle with distance with my seven and I am breathing heavy. <laughs> oh my, sweating. Need to work on them calisthenics, sir. <laughs> You're telling me. Number 16, par three, 150 yards. The pin is set just on the corner of that bunker and there is water all left. Andrew, don't hit it left. Uh, good thing I only hit it right. So we got a full moon out today, guys. I would hate to see a snowman here with the full moon from Zach. I don't know if he can handle the pressure. Oh, oh. that looks really good. Tough to tell from here. Think it hopped over the bunker. That was beautiful. I should have targeted my insults towards Matt on this hole, apparently. Not gonna lie, I lost that after five yards. I can't really see from here. It's getting pretty dark, but it's right at it. Needs to travel. Hey, it's not in the water. Whenever it's this dark and you can still see it land, that's not a good sign. <laughs> oh boy, it's even shorter than I thought. Wow. And that is what we call the shank. And he's got some bunker trouble. That went right, sir. I know, I was looking left. I was trying to do a little slider in, trying to get my first birdie of the day. Alrighty, sir, here is Matt's. Oh. We're trying to see where my, oh no. We are in the bunker right there. That is not good. This is where I wanted to be all along. All right, Matt is gonna lead the way here. Looks like he's taken the path around the bunker. What distance control? Awesome shot, sir. Oh, look at that. How cute was that? It's a little long, but he did flop it. That was impressive. So he attributed that to the school of Matt. How do you feel about that? Well, like I said, stallions are easier to coach. And so I just give them the tips and they do the work. Let's see what Zach can do out of the bunker. Oh, you know what? I think you'll take that all day. 
and twice on Sunday. Good shot there, sir. Thanks, sir. Needs to go. Go. That go. was a great line. Lofted it a little too much. I know. I got to figure out how to putt with this thing. It's eat me alive. I think I'd be winning if I could putt. I'm gonna go ahead and get out of Zach's line. I'm not gonna rush this one like they rushed me on the last one, made me three putt. I'm just basking in this moonlight. Oh no! <laughs> what is going on? I'm falling apart here on the greens, guys. Oh, you hate to see it. Oh. <laughs> That's aggressive play right there. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie. That was risky. Don't try that at home. Ooh. Matt here for his par. Oh, it's got a break. Oh, what speed oh. though? That was good speed. I was hoping for the easy tap and bogey. Oh no. Oh no. The rat first three wheel. Oh, oh, you hate to see that on the last. Hope y'all enjoy coming along the seven iron only for part two of the king of the T. I am currently at three over par for the first two parts. Matt is six over, Andrew is six over. Got a barn burner between these two. Not sure why they have the putters because we didn't use a putter for this video. I missed it, I missed it. I mean, I've been absolutely money with my putter on this channel. So smooth, I've heard tempo just from the clubhouse, from the fans walking. It was fun. Honestly though, not my best. Did find Andrew's Achilles heel. Wasn't so much trash talking with the seven iron only. Matt, thanks so much for having us Thank out here. Me. I'm gonna drop Matt and blessed. Andrew's socials down below in the description. Make sure to check them out. Hope you all enjoyed this and stay tuned for the third and final part. Three over, six over, six over. Third and final part is gonna be the next video. That is gonna be a random club challenge for three holes and we'll determine the king of the tee. And until next time, we'll see you when we see you. Peace.